This is about running the football on offense. First and foremost, the quarterback cannot run, okay? Uh, handoffs, laterals, and pitches are allowed as per NFL rules. And finally, no center sneaks. We've had a lot of people who have attempted to snap the ball and then do this. Um, we don't allow center sneaks. So do not design plays with center sneaks. It's just too much, okay? Uh, the only time a player who could conceivably be a quarterback can run with the football is if the ball is snapped to the first quarterback, the person who takes the snap is considered the quarterback. And that person flips the ball or hands the ball to another player who then runs around in the backfield and then attempts a pass. That's a run-pass option, and those, those uh, offensive formations have in the past been called wildcat. However, you can call them anything you want to. Double passes... Uh, come and play there. Lots of interesting offensive schematics come into play with the dynamic of taking the, the first snap and then flipping it back or handing it off to another quarterback, another player who becomes your sort of halfback quarterback. All right. I hope that clarifies that. No running zones are located approximately now three yards from the end zone and the mid stripe on each side. Uh, we did that to sort of shrink the no-run zone um, because we just felt it was necessary. It created more game space. Uh, the player who takes the handoff lateral pitch can throw the ball from behind the line of scrimmage, which I just explained. Spinning is allowed, and players can leave their feet. So re remember that. Spinning is allowed, and players can leave their feet. Uh, the ball is spotted where the ball carrier's feet are when the flag is pulled, not where the ball is. Now, that is a bone of contention with many of you. But we are not playing tackle football. We're playing flag football. So your feet must get into the end zone. That means one foot must get into the end zone. Okay? Since one foot can be in bounds, one foot can get into the end zone. That's going to be a biggie. So... Pay attention to that. The officials are certainly going to have to pay attention to that. Player running with the ball must make an effort to avoid intentionally running over or initiating aggressive contact on the defensive player. Penalty is called. It's unsportsmanlike conduct. So sometimes we have a situation where you've got a bullet train moving and some guy steps in the way and he runs right through that guy. Think of it as basketball rules. If the man is set up and you run through him, it's charging. It's offensive penalty. If the man is not set up and he steps in front of you, well, that's a defensive contact penalty. That can be tricky for an official that's not necessarily standing in the direct five to 10 yard area. So uh, rather than explode as a coach, try and understand that, you know, it, they're all human beings and they're doing their best job to figure out that situation, but contact should always be avoided.